Okay, I built a new coil for the Jewel Thief today that is a tunable coil. This is a Jewel Thief uh, coil on the back end here, two windings each uh, joined in the middle, and then uh, a high voltage winding here of several hundred windings of lightweight wire. And this is a hollow coil, and I'm going to put that tunable slug of ferrite in that to tune it, just like we did on the SEC project. And I just made it out of a big pen. I took a big pen and uh, cut it, took the insides out of it, made a tube, and then wrapped up the wire on that using an electric drill. I just put it in a drill and started turning the drill and wound up several hundred coils on that, and then hand wound about 20 coils on that. And this is a ferrite slug out of one of the tunable inductors I used on the SEC project. And it worked quite well. And um, this was the other coil I was using. It's a toroid. And uh, the problem with the toroid is I couldn't get it to be tunable. And then it's kind of hard to wind. So I, I thought I'd try it this way. And it works quite well. And I'm just running this on one AA battery tonight. Have a little on off switch here. And watch this LED. And it comes on really bright. That's one AA battery with that kind of brightness. Now, that's without the core in there. And see, there's just a hollow core. And this jewel thief is running um, without uh, an inductor in it, uh, I mean without the inductor core in it. So let me put the core in there. And uh, this is tunable, just like on the SEC project, which is kind of neat. And you'll see this uh, LED come on uh, different brightness. You see it flicker back and forth. That's as I move this core in and out here. But there's one other advantage to doing this is uh, I've got 27 more LEDs lit up, folks. <laughs> and that's a one AA battery. And that little tunable inductor there was very effective for what I wanted to do. Let me dim the lights down a little bit. And uh, I thought that was pretty darn neat to be able to use that tunable inductor to get this to resonate where I wanted all the bulbs to light up. Let me move that in and out. You'll see it come on. Different brightness. Now this is acting just like the SEC did when on the SEC 15 where we used the tunable inductor on the SEC 15. Now this is not a SEC circuit. This is a Jewel Thief circuit. A pure and simple Jewel Thief circuit. I'm um, uh, varying the base uh, with a potentiometer it's about a 10k pot with a 1k uh, resistor on the base circuit. And then this uh, tunable uh, inductor here is uh, half of it is the jewel thief part and the other half is the high voltage which is running those. And then if I, if I move my potentiometer here around you'll see these go in and out of resonance just like on a sec circuit. But I'm using the potentiometer on the base of the transistor which is a little 2N222 uh, 2 in two, 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 two NPN transistor tonight. That's what I'm using. And uh, anyway, that's the latest for tonight, folks. This is a, a SEC look-alike. <laughs> it's not a SEC, and uh, it doesn't have the spatial uh, energy cohesion, I don't think, that's going on, but it's sure doing something fun. And you can see if I put my little uh, LEDs up here, it lights up off the top of this thing, just like on a SEC tower. But I'm not getting the radiant energy uh, coming off of it like I did last night. It's not producing uh, that cohesive energy that I was showing last night. Of course, I don't have this hooked up to a ground. I've just got a closed loop coming on back down here to just the, the case of the pot for a return pass. So this is a closed loop system here. But anyway, that's that's the latest on my little uh, tunable inductor. I thought that was real fun there. Fun little idea. Thanks for watching.